You have heard the phrase many times lately, reverse osmosis. All along the river, parish leaders say they've got to have reverse osmosis machines to pull the salt out of the water. Getting the machines isn't easy. They're large, expensive, and in a widespread drought, they're hard to find. WGNO's Rick Gogreve is here with more Rick. Kurt, Susie, several reverse osmosis machines are headed to Plaquemines Parish. Like other parishes in our area, Plaquemines is leasing them to bring more clean water to parish residents. Plaquemines Parish has been fighting the saltwater intrusion for months, and many residents are growing frustrated with the timetable for clean water. It, it took it coming to Bell Chase up the road for them to finally, like, do something about it. So I'm... I'm kind of angry at our officials, actually. Thankfully, more help is on the way as parish officials have acquired reverse osmosis machines for each water treatment facility, with some of them arriving this week. I was here uh, at 6 o'clock this morning and probably won't leave till 6 o'clock this evening, uh, you know, trying to, to procure the, the machines and, with, and signing contracts to be able to expedite it and get, get, thing, you know, get these machines in place. In total, the Boothville Venice plant will need a 1 million gallon machine. The Port Sulphur facility will need two, Bell Chase will need five, the Delcor plant on the East Bank needs one, and the East Point of Lahash facility needs one half million gallon machine, all coming in 18 wheeler size trailers. If you add up all of those trailers, multiply them by two because not only do you have the reverse osmosis uh, uh, trailers, but they each need a uh, microfiltration system for them as well. Each machine costs roughly $50,000 per month per half a million gallons, according to Parish President Hinckley. Thankfully, the emergency declaration will help pay for some of it. I believe at this point we are uh, about $20 million just in Plaquemines Parish uh, through, for expenses. Not at this point, but we're obligated right now for that much. President Hankley said that due to the growing freshwater concerns in the parish over the last couple of years, he believes it is now time to explore the option of purchasing some of these machines for long-term use. As of right now, there is no official timetable for when more machines will be brought in. 